Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Adiola Jelly, and here we talk about life and living through the lens of God's word. All right, so before I go on with this episode, I want everyone to go back and watch the previous episode. Yeah. We talked about so many so very something very important that every lady should hear really yeah and trust me if you're a guy here go and drag your babe all right go and drag your wife she must watch the previous episode because we talked about something fundamental to every guy all right that every woman needs to know all right so today we're just going to be riding on continuing the yeah. conversation and we're talking about how we knew we were the right ones for each other i have here my husband pastor ayo Jenny. and last week he spoke the last episode he spoke um, quite extensively on why he chose me and he gave just one reason but it was a very strong reason you know you men know? are very concise to the point <laughs> <laughs> All and right. so today I'm going to be saying why I chose you. Why uh, you accepted. Why I accepted okay. to choose you. <laughs> and no. so I still win. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. But why I accepted, you know, right. um, how did I know you were the one for me, yeah. really? How did I pick the right guy? And um, it's been how many years now? Wait, am I the right guy? Yes, we've established okay. that. <laughs> you are. Always will be, forever will be. All and right. that's the honest truth. Trophies um, for the guy. All right. <laughs> okay. And that's the honest truth, yeah. sincerely. That's the honest truth. So, when you came up to me 15 years ago or thereabouts, 15. 15 years ago, 15 long years ago, I mean, our relationship is is <laughs> it's past teenager years already. <laughs> <laughs> our relationship can, you know, in another three years, can be married, okay. legally married. <laughs> you know, um, when you came up to me 15 years ago, you know, and we had been friends for about, well, I'd known you for about a year plus thereabouts, and then you were interested in, you know, asking me out. And you, there were so many things racing through my mind. I think the first thing was he doesn't look like he's not, this is not the vision of, <laughs> <laughs> this is not the physical vision <laughs> of the man, you know, oh, <laughs> I thought dear. I'll be spending the rest of my life with. Wow. He didn't look like it. Um, this is so imagine my husband uh, you know 15 years ago I've tried last last week you know I didn't talk last episode <laughs> yeah, I didn't talk yeah, and he was saying oh yes I'm this and he has you know, improved he has you know don't worry I, me up. I will I'm going to get pictures I have pictures I, I have, have pictures our first well. picture don't worry I together. have pictures too and I'm going, going to, to release these pictures I'm going <laughs> to post so I'm going to do something I'm going to um, with his permission I'm going to put our first picture together on this no, on this thing it's going to be somewhere here <laughs> or here not. or here you but i'm going not. to do it <laughs> i'm you going to do not. it it's just going to be for one second you're just going to see it's pump oh, you know he didn't really look like where i was going to he didn't really look like the vision yeah. that i had in mind and um for me it was a bit of okay you know but the major reason why i was able to pick him and you know say yes you know was because there were several factors and for me number one was that this man loved god genuinely you know i didn't want to be with a man who i felt like he loved me just because of me i think i was young but i god had helped me a whole lot to understand that um true love really stemmed from your relationship with god a lot of ladies make that mistake these days thinking that yeah. you know just because he loves me his love will take us on through marriage is long i mean we've dated for 15 years we've well we've dated. known each other yeah, for 15 for years me. but out of 15 we've been married for nine years we're going on 10 now yeah. and i can tell you that back then 15 years ago i knew that it wasn't the fact that i was charming i was beautiful i was lovely i was this. she was charming she was and yes. is beautiful she was and is adorable Thank so you whilst i understand she's trying to minimize that let's put it on record go on please thank you yeah. <laughs> see why i chose the guy now you see <laughs> <Can> <laughs> he's you not imagine? showing up Can you imagine? all right but i yeah. really did know that it wasn't because i was all that that was going to sustain him in the relationship yeah. i knew that anyone who was going to remain true remain faithful remain in a long-haul relationship with me had th that the choice of him staying had to be something that was beyond him and beyond me he wasn't just going to do it because oh he liked my curves he liked my hair he liked my this it was because he had a relationship with god and i was going to base every single thing that we we're going to share on the fact that he was a good christian and he was faithful by himself to god for me that was the major thing yeah. so it made me overlook so, so, so just a second right. are you saying that um because i've heard a lot of ladies say things like you know he really loves me oh i love god. the way he takes care of me this that that you saying that's not that's not important. the first thing that flies out 
<laughs> in a relationship or in marriage, the first thing that usually takes wings and flies is that love. Wow. When the reality of life and the reality of marriage not being all so lovey-dovey yeah. sets in, the first thing that happens. And I hear a lot of people saying, did I really know this guy? This guy yeah. has changed. Yeah. He has changed. This is not the guy I dated. This is not the guy I married, you know? Mm. Because they were predi- they were trying to you know, judge everything based on the fact that he always calls me. He's, you know, the first, he, oh, I'm the last, he's the last person I talk to at night. And, you know, he's always just thinking about me and it makes me laugh. Oh my God. <laughs> and those things are so ephemeral as in yeah, they move. Because yeah. when you marry, he won't call you right down the bed. The next, <laughs> wow, would he say good wow. morning? Wow. Okay. Would he say good morning to you? Mm. When you're going through real life issues, would he be compassionate enough? Would he be loving enough? Would he find something bigger than himself? to do the things that he doesn't feel like because there's a lot of sacrifice involved mm. there's a lot of things you he would have to do and you would have to do that if it wasn't god that was moving him to do it or his mm. relationship with god which mm. makes him a good person mm. moving him to do it my so, brother my sister he won't so, so so maybe i should put it in, in another way yes. what you're saying so you're simply saying make sure his love for god yes. is greater than his love for you yes and I think, and I think yeah. for me that was the that was the major reason. I'd seen how the love of God had changed him in his life. I'd seen him go through different phases of his life, you know, where he had some weaknesses here, like the anger issue mm. basically back then. I mean, you know, he had an issue with anger, outbursts of anger. And I knew that it wasn't because I loved him that oh baby, I love you. Mm. that will make the anger go mm. it was because he knew that as a christian the holy ghost was working on him and he had to take that away from him yeah. and he willingly yielded mm. to the holy ghost mm. so there were certain things i'd seen in you and i knew that you were progressively becoming a better person mm. and that excluded me your mm. choice to become better didn't wasn't because of whether i was in your life or i not. wasn't trying to be better for you for me you were yeah. getting better because you know god was really working on you yeah. and you were, you were really a christian so for yeah. me that was one of the major reasons you know that um for me really that was the major reason so it, it made me overlook a lot of things mm. i knew you were going to be a good person mm. you were a good person when i met you yeah. but i knew that your goodness was not based on what i could based on me mm. i think i've said that mm. you know you, i knew you're continually and consistently going to be good you yeah. were so sacrificial you know, I remember those days you didn't have so much, you know, <laughs> but you you always used to buy me Vigi chocolate. And I knew that this Vigi chocolate was everything uh, to you. Vigi chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could see you sacrificing yeah. in those little things. So, yes, you didn't have the money. You didn't look it, but you had something. All right. Yeah. Second thing I would say was that you were very focused. You were yeah. so focused on what you knew that, you know, was the call of God on your life. That was which was the call of God on your life. You were extremely focused. Yeah. Um, and you know, for me, that's 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 that was a winner. You weren't distracted. You weren't looking for this today, that tomorrow. You weren't lazy about what you were. You know, you, you were in university, but you already knew. You know, you had such a huge sense of direction, and that was so admirable. It was so so admirable. You knew this was what I was going to do, and you were going for it. Mm. All right, and and I think I, I always say follow patterns. Mm. You know, don't just follow the visions of a man. Don't just follow. You know, the guy just wants to say, oh, this is my plan this is my plan don't follow the plans what are the patterns mm. yes he has a good plan but the question is what is he doing with his plan yeah. what are the patterns mm. so i could see your patterns your patterns were sorted you were young mm. all right you were you were long. i had a lot of guys and that's the truth <laughs> but a lot of them had plans and plans and no patterns mm. i saw the plan it wasn't big it wasn't mm. everything but your patterns were solid you were consistent with what you believed. I mean, you were going all out for what you believed. You know, so number one was your love for God. Your your love for God, which changed you, which made yeah. you a better person yeah. outside of what you felt for me. Number two was that you had a vision and a plan for your life and you had a good, a solid pattern. All right. I, and I loved that about you. Oh, my gosh. It's still one of the greatest things, <laughs> you know, that I love about you. How that you are always ahead. You're always leading yourself, leading yourself right. You're strong you're focused you know on what you believe that this is what i should be doing with my life and you don't you don't you don't i don't know what's the word you don't go less than you know the greatness of the visions of god in your in your heart um i think that's that's the second thing i, I think for me then the number three thing is well um i think it's akin to the first one you were teachable not to me but to the people who were above you i always say that a man who doesn't have 
someone above him is the most dangerous man in the world. You know, so the, who is not accountable to yes, someone? Yes, that's okay. the word. Who doesn't yeah. have someone who is accountable to? Mm. He's probably the most dangerous man in the world. He becomes God all to himself. Yeah. And uh, like I said, though, I, I knew that I was all that, though, but I knew that my all that wasn't going to sustain someone for 50 years, 60 years, mm. you know, 40 mm. years mm. in marriage, mm. you know. And there's several points in our relationship where, oh my God, <laughs> you know, we had so many misunderstandings. We, you know, you had a different opinion. I had a different opinion. I was still learning to be, you know, the peaceful girl, <laughs> quote and unquote. Okay. I was still bringing in the peace into your life. And I realized that certain points where we didn't say eye to eye, you know, whether I was wrong, I don't remember. Whether you were wrong, I don't remember. I don't think that was the issue. But the fact that you were willing to take it to your pastor, take it to your spiritual yeah. parents at that point, yeah. and you were ready and willing to listen to whatever yeah. they said was a major factor for me. So I knew yeah. I was safe in your in your hands. Yeah. I knew that you weren't just going to wake up and make a crazy decision and run away, you know, <laughs> or do something. I knew there was yeah. someone who could talk to you. And, and I think that's a big deal um that uh, that a lot of ladies underestimate um because in speaking with people usually one of the questions first questions i ask is who is he accountable to i'm not saying who does he call i mean who can pull his ears who can tell him sit down and irrespective of what he thinks or what he feels he will sit down who can instruct him and you see no matter how big we get in life there's yeah. always somebody yeah there's always somebody that is that bigger. Has to be. There's always somebody that should have authority over authority, us. Authority, that's the word. If you don't find that person in his life, you're dealing with a loose cannon. Honestly. You're dealing with I mean, a loose he can cannon. just wake up one morning and make a decision that doesn't make sense. And because, you know, you're going to get married to the person, so and you have love, to. And love won't be enough at oh, that point. Oh, love won't be enough. I, I, I think we should say it over and over again love is not enough love right? is not enough love is not enough love when it comes to marriage marriage love, love is, is not the enough. feeling of love okay the feeling the of butterfly love. Yeah. of love is not enough the... is not... oh we love each, each other, other. we complete that, each other's statements hey that lady, oh, that lady when, he, watching, when, he, that when he holds me the butter... oh my <laughs> jesus okay. this is love oh, it's, okay. not, it's, it's not, not it's not it's not it's emotions it's pure chemistry amen it's the hormones in your body that are mixing up it's not enough all right that thing you're feeling is not enough yeah you know, so for me, you know, having someone he was accountable to, and that was something consistent in his life till today, you know, somebody once said that everybody will have their 10 minutes of madness in life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just make sure that while they're being mad, there's somebody that they can listen to <laughs> to calm them down. Yeah. And he had that, you know, he really, really had that. And for me, that was solid. And, Allah, and I guess I've always had it. Yes. Even till now. Yes, uh, yeah. yes, yes, okay. yes. And uh, the last thing I would say, because, you know, we'll try to keep this short, and um, is that we were friends. Ah, oh, my yeah. God. We were friends. Oh, we're still friends. Yes, we are friends. I, 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 <laughs> I think friendship. something still happened yesterday, and you were like, uh, I, I don't remember exactly what <laughs> we you were said. gossiping like, <laughs> we're talking like two okay. ladies gossiping. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the beauty oh, of marriage. You're, yes. you're married to your friends. Yes, we're friends. Um, we're real your friends. Your gossip partner. We are friends. Your, your, your crime partner. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. When and, you do it with and your friends. And I think the point I want to bring about friendship here is that um, there's nothing really on my heart, you know, back then or and right now that I can't share with you. Yeah. Um, there is no fear of being judged. There's yeah. no fear of being of sounding stupid. Yeah. There's no fear of maybe he's going to misinterpret it and yeah. think, you know. Yeah. We I was able to be hundred percent vulnerable with you. Yeah. And you were able to be hundred percent vulnerable with yeah. me. And for me, those those things were priceless. You know, friendship that was real. Mm. I was committed to you 100%, mm. and you were committed to me 100%. Mm. This was outside the feelings of love, the outside of I love him, he holds my hand. You know, we actually had a solid friendship. We, we enjoyed and still enjoy each, each other's, other's company. company. Sometimes I'm running away from him because I'm like, babe, we've been talking since morning. <laughs> like, we're in the room. Okay. We, every morning we have meeting. There's always something, and he's always sharing this, sometimes serious, sometimes not serious, sometimes we're talking about comedians. And it's been like that for all through. I remember when we were in uni, and I had I'd leave class, and the first person I wanted to just come and be with was you. Yeah. And we were just talking, and I don't even know what we were talking about. Just, just we, we, every just We come to the office, just. and we walk together, and we're still talking. And we get back into the car, and there was only I had to ask him, but babe, what are we always talking about? <laughs> that? Does he not finish? Like... 
Doesn't it finish? Like we've been talking since morning. We've been literally, literally. since morning. Literally. Once she opens her eyes, I open my eyes. The oh G my starts, god! And it never ends. That's the sincere truth. You know, so yeah. I really prized our friendship. And the truth is, a lot of people need to understand. I think I said, and the truth is that I say that a lot. Yeah, you do. Yes. And the truth is that. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth is that friendship is really what lasts, what will sustain your marriage. Yeah. The fact yeah. that you're friends, you know, it's real. Um, you like him, you like her, mm -hmm. and the love is also there, but the likeness is, you know, you actually want to spend time with him, yeah. genuinely. Um, so I think I'm going to put a pause here, yeah. and um, we're going to continue next week. I think we're going to have just one more episode together, okay. and then we'll move into different uh, uh, other topics. Um, I hope right. you're enjoying this. I hope this is, you're not just enjoying it, I hope it's helping you, you know, to pick the right person. Yeah. Um, things you should look out for and to chase away the wrong person yes yes mm. don't be sentimental i always tell people yeah. this don't be sentimental about your destiny mm. if the guy is not the right guy if the lady is not the right lady madam oga chase them praise god yeah. it's always better to end a bad relationship mm. all right than to get into a bad marriage mm. it's always always better praise god but i think we should just say a quick prayer for people who are trusting god for their spouses okay. yeah guys out there their ladies out there um and i just want you to pray for them and um, that they will be able to recognize the right person, that they won't pick the wrong person because of the wrong reasons, mm. and that God will really open their eyes, you know, to make that decision. Like, we have made that decision. There's mm -hmm. a blessing on our marriage. I know that. Mm. I'm happy. You're happy. The kids are happy. You know, the people around us are happy. Mm. I just want you to bless people today. Okay, let's pray. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. thank you for our viewers. Thank you for instruction and wisdom that you've granted to us at this moment we join our fate with everyone who's listening to us watching us that even as they make this decision that your wisdom will speak for them amen we decree and declare that they will be far from error amen. and mistakes amen. in the name of jesus amen. christ and we pray for you maybe you have made wrong mistakes you are in um, transitions in your life you're in a place in a dark place in your life we pray that the hand of God will bring you out of that place. Amen. Will restore joy to your life. Amen. Will restore bliss to your relationships Amen. and your marriages. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, we Lord. We give you praise. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Make sure, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. I'll be here with you same time next week. God bless you and have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you.